And this is when I introduced the Budach. Budach? Is it really Budach? And they're they are very infamous, but uh, they're very inf <laughs> infamous uh, viruses to deal with because of that. <laughs> That's why they disappear once. I mean, they disappear twice, and then they attack with using their hat. Then you get to see a much more later, ver uh, even more annoying versions of them. I guess they kind of follow the motif with uh, Dark Phantom, because he wears the hats too. He's kind of creepy, you know, kind of like a, guy, a dude. That, oh no! <laughs> now we get to we had to fight it, and this we get the uh, Budash G. And the problem with that, you don't get anything from it. You don't even get their virus, the G, the the star cards from those. Which is even, which is even more annoying. Ah. But if you notice that the gimmick here, if you do encounter them, we're pretty much gonna fight of like versions of them. And... Mm. Okay, there we go. Now we can go. But I think before before I got interrupted, you probably noticed. Well, maybe I don't know. But Dark Phantom is kind of inspired. Oh, we got a fire ring from a green Mr. wave. Wow. And we get boot hat one from that. Okay. But uh what was I trying to say? Have you noticed in the uh, moments by now the way he talks? He's kinda like the this the typical uh the typical actor on like on those operas and, and, and plays. I mean they could have gone out of the way and make him talk Shakespearean, but that would be a little bit confusing because it's like I remember I remember in my English class when they were trying to teach us Shakespearean English. And I'm like, this does not make any sense. How are you able to understand this? I couldn't even understand it myself. <laughs> but there's another, another, another reference going on there. I just don't remember on top of my head. Um... Like he's supposed to be a rev for some uh, some guy, or maybe I'm, maybe it's just a stretch. But All right, you go over here. There you go. But yeah, there's your example of the fire ring there, because as soon as it hits all the way to the back row, it deals multiple. It, it actually has it does multiple hits. But Fire Ring comes in play even better when you actually get, if you play with Serian just because of one particular because of its ability. But I'm not gonna talk about it just yet. It's like, what do you want? I mean, what are you? Oh, this is just dead end. What it says, Ghost. I hate them, especially when I was I, when I was washing when I wash windows at night. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, do you see ghosts? <laughs> I guess I did went the wrong way. Guess we have to go here. <laughs> A dead end. Do you think there's a way around it? It's like ah. Somebody help. I've got to do something. Jeez, what a pain. <laughs> and I was just down there too. Ooh, we got... Wait, Raider Missile? Hold on. Wait a minute. If I still remember... Yes. You still deal 100 damage. Hold on.
There we go. Let's make that our favorite. This is where we're getting the chance to use the Raider missile. So what's special about this uh, the missile? It's um, it locks into enemies, deals 100 damage, but uh, it, they have to be non-elemental. And as you can see, most of the enemies are almost non-elemental, especially the ghosts, and which they also are, which they also have 100 HP. Now, whether you can get the timing before they disappear, that's that's the another story. <laughs> All right, let's pass these guys. It's like, ooh. Not means managed to get one of them at least. There we go. It's like I did it. Thanks, a little blue book, blue kid. Hold on, you can see me. It seems that we went up in the invisible zone somehow. Human seeing EM waves only happens once in a blue moon, and that's when the EM waves are in the visible zone. When there are frequently fluctuation, EM waves enter to the visible zone and humans can see them. You mean we're in the visible zone now? So it would appear. There are no warnings when you enter to the visible zone. You just do. You almost never encounter it though. Who are you exactly? Me? Oh. What the? Well, that's one way to get air, I guess. Sorry, I pushed the elevator switch by mistake. Be more careful. That could just save our skin. What would happen if we fell now? Looks like I can cross that lift and move on. Oh yes, indeed. Mm, okay, now we go this way. Snow you real quick. Oh, ah, come on. I have another blue mystery here, and we get boot hat one. I think that's the second one that I got here. Yeah. This is actually pretty good. I just wish it was actually a plus 100 round than 90. It's still not a bad card, nonetheless. Ah, oh, come on. Hmm, guess this one I just have to wait. There we go. Oh, so much for that idea. And we got a grass stage? Wait a minute. Wow, I got a grass stage from that. This will be, uh, we can do a lot of damage. We can do some damage with the grass stage. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe if I get more fire cards, but no, I do not. Uh, let's go like this. A large energy. Maybe we can do we can do something with the grass stage. Maybe. It won't be as much because it's like it's gonna deal at least sixty damage from it. So I don't think it would be a good. Maybe. 
Maybe if I actually have much more stronger battle cards, I guess. I don't know. It's like, I'll save you. Wait, battle right on. It's like, I'll save you, little girl. Oh, come on. <laughs> that was... I was supposed to lock on for that one. At least I got damage from that. Alright. Thanks for saving me. Woo! Ah, help me! If you want to fight, fight me. Thanks, by the way, you're pretty strong. Let me see if I can get a boo hat here. No. Nah, this is fine. Alright, time for boss. It's boss time. Like Pretz, Mega Man, you come to say rescue me. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> Your presence here, it does not follow the script I've written. That's the masked guy from before, ain't it? I know, I've seen him somewhere before, but where? Excuse me for not introducing myself. You may call me Hyde. Hide? Hmm? <laughs> now here's the surprise. You're the EMB, the EMB, meaning you can change. You can. W you're an EMB, meaning you can wave change. H how do you? Interesting. This story keeps getting better and better. You know about EM wave change? <laughs> of course. Did you think you were the only one? He's got a star carrier. No, it's something else. Phantom, come forth. You summon me and hide? Time to arrest the humans? <laughs> a ghost just came out of his star carrier. Now nah, it's just an EM body, but different. He's got a frequency I can't read. That's a first. This is Phantom. You could say he's in charge of these ghosts. You want to stop them from scaring everyone? Then you have to talk to me about it. Of course, that doesn't mean I'll listen, but... <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin, Phantom. EM wave change, hide on the air. No way. He can wave change? <laughs> I call this form the Dark Phantom. I make an impressive figure if I do so, say so myself. I never thought there were others who could wave change. And why was there an EM body in that weird star carrier? This is no mere trinket like the Star Carrier's human use. Perhaps you can call it an ancient Star Carrier. Ancient Star Carrier? Why are you doing this? What do you want? The IFL Tower is the source of all EM waves in the country. If one were to take control of it, well, I'm sure you can imagine what would happen. <laughs> control the EM waves and you control the humans who need them. The Star takes its heroine and together they rule the country. The finale for this horror film is set. Perfect, isn't it? <laughs> Rule the country? I won't let you. And you're going to stop us? Not when the star has, has this much power? Get ready, kid. He's going to attack. Ready. Wave battle right on. 
when Hyde and Phantom even way change, they become Dark Phantom. I've mentioned earlier how Hyde resembled with Mr. Hyde from the novel, that infamous novel of uh, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. And the role in Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Hyde does, he's, it's, uh, he's supposed to be Dr. Jekyll's evil personality and he's always like this scheming evil character. And you're gonna see how there's more resemblance with uh, with Hyde from the Star Force 2 series later on in the story, which it gets a little bit more, uh, I guess, interesting. As for, however, for Dark Phantom, it is perhaps making it. It is making an the character design. Everything may seem to be like an, an homage to the uh, French novel, was uh, called uh, the Phantom of the Opera. And in the story, there there is this uh, opera house that is haunted by this entity, which is known as the Phantom of Opera, or they just call it the Opera Ghost. So, as you can see, there's there's this um. I guess uh, relation in between the two and it just so happens that uh Dark Phantom is using ghosts to haunt the audience and then he's just and he's like this producer of the pl of the play and they like he, and he calls his scri uh, his scripts quote unquote as his schemes which is which is interesting because all all of these incidents just so happens uh, it just how so happens to be in the movie theater all molding together. I re I really like both High and Dark Phantom's character designs for each of their own. I like Hyde's the little purple coat and the fedora. Um, not to mention the cane he always carry. I have a, I I just for some reason I always have a thing with characters with Kane. It just seems so imposing in a way, like he's always on on top of things, which you're gonna see why uh, later on in the story of how <laughs> how it, how Hyde. Uh, it just so happens that he's trying to double cross with our uh, with the <laughs> with the villain of the game. You're gonna see it later on. So yeah, here there's your little spoil alert. <laughs> Um, as for Dark Phantom, I actually just like his very ghastly design. It's just like, yeah, he has this classical, you know, tuxedo, but then he has, like, again, he has this ghastly, almost haunting, like, haunting design on him. Um, and if that doesn't tell you enough, um, we're gonna go to his attacks and abilities and you're gonna see why. The Phantom Illusion, so, kind of similar to the, uh, the, uh, um, What's the what was the, the those bosses viruses name? I forgot. Was it Budach? The ones we meet. It has pretty much has that same. Uh, it pretty much follows this same pattern when he will eventually disappear when the player tries to attack and then proceed to attack. And when he does attack, it he uses his stick sword. Although it should have been called cane sword, but then again, it's just a cane and not a sword. So it's like like I don't know. I don't know why it's why it's a cold stick sword. Um, but anyways, uh, he will he will attack the player at his current position, and in the, and then in the later versions of the Dark Phantom, uh, will attempt to, it will attempt to attack you to multi attack this. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. <laughs> in the later version of Dark Phantom, will attend this multiple times. It would have been cool that he would actually shield out a fencing sword out of his cane. Now that would have been actually a, a, a really cool. My hey, what can you do? Anyways, uh, Phantom Claw. Now this is probably my favorite. Uh, this is probably my favorite attack from this boss. So you, it, so pretty much he sends out this black hair from his chest, and then, <laughs> and it just gonna attack you wherever your position. And the only way you can evade this is actually through just, just you have to dodge. That's the only way because the thing is, it breaks the player shield and also appears in this. So there's that, <laughs> or you can counter attack, of course. Um, and lastly, the Phantom Slash. Uh, you were not gonna see this move during the battle, but you uh, probably later down the road when I attend to get the Mega Cards from the boss. So Dark Phantom will move up in the front of the player and then attack with multiple hits with a, uh, this multiple hit wine attack. It's kind of sort of similar, like um, like Dra Dragon K Sky GX Giga. Um, but yeah, it will attack that hits all the panels around him and it will also remove barriers and auras if you have any. 
So the only way to avoid this is either you shield it or you can counterattack. Now back to the boss battle. I'm sorry, but I I had to be quiet for the moment there because that soundtrack for the boss the battle the boss battle theme it's it's just too good. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. That was Dark Phantom. <laughs> Not bad for a cameo. Time to close the curtains on tonight's performance. Um, what? Do not stray from the script," said the producer. "I'm a bit disheartened by the fact that the horror film was ruined, but I did give my word to the producer." There will be more opportunity to spread fear to the masses. He's gone. Who or what was he? An unknown, unknown EM body comes out of the star from that strange star carrier. And then he did a wave change. Then he did a wave change. Anyways, I'm just glad I got to flex my muscles again. Hmm, kid, there's something going on down there. Huh? Everything's back to normal, it seems. Hey, look at that. There's something on the building. You're right. Is that a person? It's him. He saved me. He rescued me when I was being attacked by those ghosts. Does that mean he's the per he's the reason all those ghosts just disappear? Oh no, they're all looking at me. You should wave to them. I'd rather not. I need to get pressed and get out of here ASAP. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine, but I was worried for a second there. Glad you're okay. Um, you should... Um, you, how should I say it? You were awesome. Huh? Let me rephrase that. Mega Man was awesome. <laughs> Got that? <laughs> Why are you embarrassed? I'm not. You're the one who's embarrassed. It's not like I was complimenting you. <laughs> I was complimenting Mega Man. My mistake. Why would I say you were? Uh, why would I say you were awesome? Ah, now I really do feel embarrassed. So what should I do? Forget it. Just transform already. I want to say thanks to Mega Man directly. I don't know, but um, you did a good job too. You were a tiny bit awesome. Just a little, a tiny bit. <laughs> oh, and that's right. What's right? I guess to show my thanks, I should, um, you know, it's the next step in the, our friendship. Usually the boy asks the girl out though. Um, wait, what? <laughs> you are so thick. Brother Ben, you and I are going to form a brother Ben. <laughs> Why does it make it sound like it was a date? It's like we're going steady. <laughs> Oh, oh, that. <laughs> Can't believe it. This is something I shouldn't have to ask for. It's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, whatever. Anyways, thank you. Seeing you go that far to save me, well, you'll always be an important friend to me. Yeah, we got 50 link power now. I wish I could form a brother band with Mega Man, though. What? Nah, just kidding. Anyway, thanks, Gio. Ten days later, Gio and his classmates began their summer vacation. Did I say ten years or ten months? I don't know. <laughs> Gotta find out soon enough. Um, Why so down in the dumps, kids? I thought you couldn't wait for your summer vacation to start. 
I can't stop thinking about something that high guy said. The guy who said there is there there will be more opportunity to spread fear, right? There's a lot of weird stuff that day, that day, so you probably won't be able to stop thinking about it for a while. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. You're just not gonna do anything about it like always, hey? Like browser. Oh hey there, Fretz. You have the vague look on your face again. Something's bothering you? I'm just my usual self. You're the one who's extra peppy today. <sighs> well, you don't have you don't hide what you're thinking anymore. Anyways, I have something to tell you. Sitting around all day is no way to spend our summer vacation, so I have decided that we're all going on a trip. So what? A trip? Yes, a trip. And you're going too. Just out of the blue? Um, of course I'm going. I'll be glad to join you. Then it's settled. We're all meeting at my house to make plans. So be there, okay? Jeez, okay, I will. Oh, and one more thing. Your handle for your star carrier? You chose, yes, Mizu 20XX. Or 20, 22X, right? That's a cute name for you. What? How did you... Because we're brothers, silly. Your brothers can read each other's my pages. That's how I know. Oh yeah, and about the my page? What now? I can't read your secret on your my page with my star carrier. That's not good. Um, really? Brothers can check out each other's secrets. Is it really a problem not knowing my secret? That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm not interested in your secret per se. But as far as, uh, as the world goes, brothers sh should know each other's secrets. That's just proper etiquette. Um, okay. So what do I do? Why can't you see my secret? It's not, is my star carrier broken? Have you been upgrading your star carrier regularly? Upgrading? Not that I know of. You're really something. That's the problem then. I'm always making sure to upgrade mine. If our star carriers are different versions, then there will be problems. I see. We should upgrade yours ASAP. Got it? Okay. Then come to my place to see you. Uh, to my place. See you there. <laughs> so what now, kid? She said I have to upgrade my star carrier. How do I do that now? Hmm. How about finding someone who knows about those things? You're right. Now, who knows a lot about star carriers? Hmm, the one who, who the ones who made it before. <laughs> oh, we got a mail. You got mail. Who is it now? Guess I better read it. Okay, here. It's like beep. Hello there. Thanks for your help. Wait, do you remember me? I was the one being attacked by all of those ghosts all at IF at the IFL tower the other day. Here's a little token of my creation for saving us at the IFL tower. Oh look, we get an ability power, an, abi an ability wave, or ability for short. We Mr. Hurst never leave home without it. It's an amazing thing. By simply equipping it, it increases your ability. I, for example, transmit all the latest news from IFL tower. And thanks to this ability, I have equipped it called the Tread Antenna. I can pick up the latest words on the streets about what's hot. The story of how this ability has came to be is this, this. The world we live in was once protected by the three satellites in the sky. Those satellites have served out their purpose and no longer exist. So in our order to protect ourselves, yeah, tell that to Star Force 3. <laughs> we Mr. Hurst devised the ability to power up individually. And that's the story you sh too should be able to, e that's the story. You too should be able to equip it. Go to the, the equip ability on the mega screen and you should be able to equip it there. It is possible to equip multiple abilities, but you can't equip more abilities than you have the link power for it. The higher your link power, the more abilities you can equip. I hope you can get you get a lot of use from the ability wave. Oh, and just one more thing. If you happen to see any of us Mr. Heads who caught in the battle, please lend us a hand and, and we'll repay, repay your kindness. And by that, I mean I hook you up with an ability or something. Well, I guess that's all. Take care. Beep beep. An ability, huh? Well, go on equip it already. And that's that. I think this will be a nice way to actually end this episode. So... So for next time, we're going to see the person who can help us fix our star carrier. And then I guess we're going to talk. We're going to find out what's this trip about. Anyway, this is Misu saying. See you all later, okay? Take care.